4.5 billion dollars. For those of you who don't know, I've, I know I've said this phrase a hundred times over. I am a huge, huge Star Wars fan. Four five, and, 4, 5, and 6 are pieces of cinematic brilliance. And then, when the, pre when the prequels came out, I watched them all. I've watched every single one of those in the theaters, and I'm not ashamed to say, I, and I had ama an amazing time watching 1, 2, and 3 with my father. Me and my dad watched all three, all three of those movies, premiere night, in the theaters. I was eight. When episode one came out. And I loved it. Growing up, I became more cinema cinema savvy. And I know what's right, what's wrong. And I know Phantom Menace is terrible. There's not a second, there's not a frame of that movie that's not a betrayal to the franchise. The, all three of the prequel movies, George Lucas missed the point of his own franchise. That is so sad. And the, the day it dawned on me, I don't remember when it was, it was probably a couple, a couple years after episode three, it dawned on me that this is, this is bad. This is terrible. Episodes one, two, and three are complete betrayals to the whole franchise. They don't add up. They don't retell a story in a different light. They, they make Darth Vader. Darth Vader, like, Number two on cinema's most, like, badass villains of all time. They, they make him a whiny kid. No. You... I, I don't want to ramble on for hours about why the prequels suck. Because I could. I could go on for days. But, bottom line, episode three kind of drew the line on live-action Star Wars movies. It, despite what people say about 1, 2, and 3, it is the rest of the story. The story's told. Uh, one, episodes 1 through 6, the story is told. Uh, you can't go forward, you can't go backward. At least not with that timeline. Uh, 4.5 billion dollars. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Disney, the company Disney, yes... They bought LucasArts. Uh, George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, is a retired man. He's gotten old. He's unhealthy. The fans have had knives at his back for years over the prequels. And I do pity the guy. Despite how much I hate him, I do pity him. Because it must feel awful having... Millions and millions of nerds hate your guts. Like, and I'm not just saying that. It's true. Uh, George Lucas really got the shaft on... He missed the point of his franchise, and that is his fault. He's retired now. And a part of me is really sad about it. Despite how much you may hate you you might hate and loathe the guy, he still brought us the original Star Wars trilogy. Cinematic brilliance! The Star Wars the original Star Wars franchise. And you can never take that away from him. And sure you can argue he was really only ever behind episode four. Five and six were just his ideas with different directors and writers. He's still the creator. He still created those movies. Four, five, and, Star Wars is known for 4, 5, and 6. 1, 2, and 3, psh. If they never existed, no one would care. 4, 5, and 6. Directors kill themselves and die wishing that they could make movies that had that big of a cult phenomenon. And with Lucas retired, there's a hole in my heart. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and... I don't remember the person that bought this, like, LucasArts. 
But Disney is now the cre uh, owner of Star Wars. Disney. Happiest place on earth. That feels wrong to me. It, 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 it just feels wrong. Uh, I, I, I can't pinpoint why exactly. I mean, Disney's had their hands in Star Wars for years. Um, they, they had the ride at Disney World called a, um, Star Tours, which is basically a, a, a virtual computerized ride that you sit in, you watch the screen, take you through space in the Star Wars galaxy. It's like hosted by 63 po It's... Disney... If anyone was going to buy LucasArts, it was going to be Disney. The fact that Star Wars is now going to open up with the castle... And not the THX LucasArts ordeal is. I, I, I just don't. It doesn't feel right. Uh, and I, I know I'm always about innovation, and I, I never want Star Wars to die. And I love Disney. Disney is a great company. They've given us millions of memories. And I, I, I've never. Once hated Disney, really, uh, but but the point I really want to make about this is that there is a new movie coming out, a new live-action Star Wars movie coming out, 2015, and it's gonna be the officially licensed Episode Seven, Eight, and Nine. There are novels of Star Wars 7, 8, and 9. Each featuring Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Princess Leia. They're all there. This is not going to be those movies. Um, have you seen them lately? Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford. They're old. Like, I... I and, I'm not just saying that to be, like, mean. They're old. Like, they cannot do the stunts that they did in the original days, in, or the original Star Wars days. They cannot do that again. And if people think for a second that they're going to be in 7, 8, and 9, you could not be more wrong. 7, 8, and 9 are going to be a sequel to the, to the original trilogy, but... What I'm gonna, what I'm, my, the point I want to make is that, as hard as it is for me to say, with Lucas's retirement and the original Star Wars trilogy being the gold mine that it is, the merchandising, the fan fiction, everything, those three films stand on their own. The prequels are there in case people want to know the backstory. People do. Episodes 1 through 6 are one story. It is told. It is done. You can't go forward. You can't go backward. That story is there. And it's not going anywhere. And within that, those six films, those six live-action Star Wars films, the story is told. <laughs> That's Star Wars. If Disney is going to make more movies, the sequel the, 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 um, the sequel whores that say that Disney is, and I, I don't want to be, see, I don't want to sound mean when I say that, but Disney is sequel whores. If, if, if it exists, there's going to make a sequel about it. Like, Lion King 3 is in the works right now. Uh, Cinderella 4... Um, Parts of the Caribbean 5 is in the making. Disney will do whatever it takes to make sequels. We could be up to Star Wars Episode 20. The way I see it, Star Wars is dead. All on the lines of a cinema, cinema experience. Star Wars 1 through 6 is Star Wars. 
That is the Star Wars. <laughs> if Disney's gonna make more of them, it's gonna be nothing more than a high budget fan film. You're not gonna have the original cast, you're not gonna have the original atmosphere, you're m more likely you're not even gonna have the original score. Do you really think John Williams is going to come in for Disney and help them with this? No. You... The effects will probably be there. Disney, Disney already works with ILM. But Star Wars is dead. Along the lines of a live-action cinema experience. You have the Clone Wars. You have millions of books. Those are still Star Wars. But they're not the six movies. The official Episode 7 movie by Disney? The more Star Wars... There's going to be a lot of them. You know that there's going to be at least a 7, 8, and 9. There's going to be a new trilogy of Star Wars films by Disney. But it's not. It's not Star Wars. At least not in this sense. All it's going to be is a series of really high-budget fan films. You can't, am, I, do I, am I making sense? The Star Wars story is told. All you can do is add on stuff that no one cares about. At least not in the sense of the original story. All it's going to be is a series of new characters, new adventures, possible callbacks to the old days, but... It's not going to be the same at all. You're going to have lightsabers, you're going to have blasters, you're going to have space battles. Yes, that's Star Wars, but it's not the characters that we love. You know it's going to be all new characters. And it's all the bottom line. I simply don't care. And that is saying a lot from someone like me. Star Wars is... What is my life? That is my childhood, is what Star Wars is. And the fact of me saying I simply don't care, that's saying a lot. Because I really don't. I'll go see him. Everybody in the world is going to go see him. You, there could be Star Wars film. Like, every Star Wars film that comes out, people are going to go see. Uh, the Clone Wars movie, I wanted to go see opening day because I was curious. Sure, it wasn't great, but it was Star Wars. Episode 7 by Disney. It's gonna say Star Wars on it. We're gonna go see it. <laughs> but it's not this... It's, it's, it's not Star Wars. Star Wars died a long time ago. From the cinema standpoint. All this is gonna be is a high-budget fan film. I hope I make sense. I, and honestly, I'm not mad. Uh, and, and in fact, I, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of grateful that you know Lucas is retired. He's putting he's putting his franchise, a, his best selling franchise, into the hands of a higher studio. And Disney's gonna do with Star Wars what they will. They're going to bend it, they're going to merchandise it, they're going to make billions of dollars off of it. But Star Wars is now a Disney... <laughs> Star Wars is now a Disney production. <laughs> that, that feels so wrong to say. But it is. <laughs> Princess Leia is now a Disney princess. Uh -huh. The princess that's going to be in the in this next Star Wars film is going to be a Disney princess. The, the merchandising is going to be galore. There's going to be so much stuff. Disney has bought Star Wars. And they're going to make millions of dollars on their own fan films. Because Lucas gave Disney complete control over his best-selling franchise. That is basically proof that George Lucas does not care anymore. He's, he's tired of Star Wars weighing him down, 
uh, being the, the knife in the back of his neck. Fans rioting, graffitiing his house, whatever they can do to, to, to show him that he's done them wrong. You can argue day and night that George Lucas never did us wrong. He just stopped making the movies that he wanted to make. While that is true, you cannot change... You cannot change history. And that's very geeky for me to say, but Star Wars is a history. It's... It brought us a new perspective on how cinema should be done, how sci-fi should be done. It gave us one of the best storylines of all time, one of the best twists of all time. And the fact that Lucas just didn't care, and he made three more films just for his own budget, it's insulting. And for Disney to take out the reins, instead of being in Lucas's... I would rather Disney be in control of a new film than Lucas. But... With Lucas having nothing to do with the franchise, it doesn't feel like Star Wars. It's just gonna be another fan film. And that's all the new movies are gonna be. It's nothing more than a high-budget fan film. I can't... I don't know how many times I've said that, but that's all it's gonna be. And possibly really good. It could be a really, really good fan film. It, it could be, like, it could be Sega-altering. Because they're not going to be able to bring anything new to the Star Wars saga. The, the Star Wars saga has been told. It's in ink. You can't change it. Episodes 7, 8, and 9, they might do callbacks. They might alter things that happened in Episode 6. I, I just don't know what they're going to do with it. You, you can't go any direction then forward if you're going to call it episode 7. It's going to be a sequel to 6. What happened in it? What, what's going to happen? After the Battle of Yavin, or ba ba Battle of Endor, sorry, and the Empire has fallen, <laughs> new villains, new... It's just all... all it's going it's to have to be like all new characters. They might bring back C-3PO and R2-D2, but... I just don't know. I'll go see them. I will be the first one in line to go see these movies. Don't even think I won't. But, am I, am I making sense that this just isn't Star Wars anymore? It's a fan film. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, for what Star Wars is and what Star Wars will be, it will always be the, the cinema brilliance that got me into filmmaking, got me into cinema. It will always be the milestone of my childhood. And Star Wars will never die. Star Wars, the original trilogy, will never die. The prequels, as hang on by a string as they are, they will never die. Episodes 7, 8, and 9? They might. You know, less memorable characters? Nothing... Nothing is needed. Uh, you can't do a sequel to, si the, to 6 because the characters are too old. Um, you can't add on anything. You can't... I mean, unless they make 7, 8, and 9 like a prequel to 1, 2, and 3, but that's just... O older public territory would be interesting, sure. But... If you're not a Star Wars fan, I've already lost you. I know. But... I, I just can't get over it, really. It's, it's, it's sad, but... Overwhelming? I guess? It's... I'm just going to leave it at that. The Star Wars that we knew is dead. It, it's, not, it's not dead. You know, merchandising is going to keep it alive forever. But it's done. 
That's the word. It's done. <sighs> 2015, Star Wars Episode 7 comes out in theaters, and I'll be the first one in line. Don't, don't even, don't even doubt that. But you're going to see the new Star Wars, and it's just going to be a fan film. I don't think I've ever gotten so emotional in front of the camera on a topic, but if you guys knew Star Wars, for me, it's not just my childhood. It's a milestone in everything that I, I, like, I love to stand for. Cinema. Acting, effects, characters. Star Wars is everything. Everything cinema needs. And... I've rambled on way too long. But... Just know, everybody, fans and new fans to come, Star Wars will never die. At least not in that sense. You still have your you still have your original trilogy. You still have your prequels. Hate them, love them. You still have them. And it makes a story. If you guys want to see more stories to come, don't worry. They're on their way. Love them, hate them. They might not be around forever. But you'll always have the original trilogy. That's all I can say about this, so this is Sketchy Reporter out, and I hope that you guys got my point. And for all you fanboys out there, never let Star Wars leave your heart. Never. May I force be with you.